Hello people, in today's video I just want to show you how to quickly diagnose a burnt out exhaust valve like this one. Now typically if you have a burnt out exhaust valve, your engine still will start, but it may be a little hard to start, and it will also run quite rough. You can see this engine here is running quite rough, you can see the shaking. As it revs up it appears to smooth out, but that rough running is there whether the engine is hot or cold. Now, with the engine still running, head to the rear of the vehicle and grab yourself some cloth or some paper and just hold it over the tip of the exhaust pipe. You can see here that exhaust gas has been sucked back into the exhaust system while the engine is running. You can see the cloth being pulled right back in and then blown back out by the exhaust gases. This is a telltale sign that you have cracked, burnt or leaking exhaust valves. At this stage I'm very confident that it is a burnt out exhaust valve but I think it's important to pull the spark plugs out now and have a little look at their condition. You can see that I've got the four spark plugs here. This one's furthest from the radiator, cylinder number four. That's number three. And we have spark plug number two here. Definitely has some issues going on. It's full of carbon, it's black. The others were quite clean but definitely number two has an issue. With the spark plugs removed, it's probably a good idea to do a compression test. This particular tester is a wind-in tester that can be operated by a single person. Here it is, I'm just sitting on the engine getting ready to crank the motor over. With the engine cranking, you can see that this one does have compression and it came out to about 125 PSI. Moving now onto cylinder number two, this was the one that had the fouled spark plug, so I was expecting something a little bit different when I did the compression test on this one. Cranking the engine over for the first time gave no compression whatsoever. I assumed initially that perhaps the tubing wasn't wound tight enough into the cylinder head and that there was some sort of a leak, so I wanted to try it again. So again, cranking the engine, looking for compression on the gauge, and you can see here that even with the engine cranking, that gauge wasn't moving. There was zero PSI of compression in that cylinder. Cylinder number three, it came up around the 125, and cylinder number four again came at 125. So now knowing that the engine's been running rough, hard to start, exhaust gas has been sucked back into the exhaust system and no compression, it was time to remove that cylinder head. And this is what we found. That's cylinder number one, two, three, and four, starting from the right, and we can see cylinder number two has a massive chunk missing out of one of those exhaust valves. Here it is again beside the brand new valve, and you can just see how bad that exhaust valve had burnt out. Hey, now I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give it the thumbs up and subscribe.